to episode number 25 of Travel Talk. Uh, today's episode will be covering Leaving Las Vegas, which I've got a funny feeling is a film title, and heading to San Francisco and our first full day there. And uh, yeah, like last episode we were obviously in Las Vegas, we uh, were experiencing the sights and the sounds of a wonderful city, and uh, yeah, it was a really, really great experience being in Vegas, getting to gamble, getting to see all the lights and the the atmosphere in Vegas is amazing, so getting to be there was a great experience. Uh, but yeah, like I say, all good things come to an end, and we'll be leaving Las Vegas in this episode and heading to San Francisco. So um, yeah, we'll kick off. We woke up on our last day in Vegas at about 9 o'clock sort of time, packed our bags, and went down and checked out of the hotel, and headed to the hotel at about half past 9, 10 o'clock sort of time. Uh, once you get there nice and early, just so we can get checked in. Uh, we'd be flying with JetBlue Airways, which obviously is one of the uh, internal airways in America. So, uh, got our bags checked and tagged, and uh, headed through customs as such, like baggage control. And, um, yeah, basically got into the airport pretty easy. We sat down. There wasn't a McDonald's, which was really disappointing, so we couldn't have a McDonald's breakfast. So, in the end, I think we settled for, like, Burger King, which is just as healthy, obviously. But uh, So, yeah, we had a Burger King breakfast, which is it's similar. And, uh, yeah, just waited around for the flight, basically. Our flight was leaving at 12, uh, so we had about an hour to kill. Just sat in red, basically, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, it was... It, Basically, time passed pretty quickly. Jumped on the plane at about 11.30 for boarding. And I think the plane actually left about dead on 12, which was good, good news. Uh, flight itself took about an hour and a quarter. Uh, quite a lot of turbulence, which was quite weird in between. But uh, yeah, it was an all right flight. You know, you got some blue crisps complimentary from JetBlue Airways, which I found quite funny. And uh, yeah, landed in San Francisco about 20 past one sort of time. Uh, went down to baggage collection, waited about 20 minutes by the uh, conveyor belt for our bags, grabbed them, jumped in a taxi, headed to Post Street in San Francisco, which is where we'd be staying in a hostel. Uh, it's about a 15 minute walk from city centre in the end, which was really good, we didn't realise that when we booked it. Uh, about 50 people at this hostel at the time when we were there, uh, a lot of them were German, uh, some Dutch and then just like a few Americans, some Swedish, you know, it was, it was a nice blend of people. There weren't many English people initially when we were there. There were more, like, uh, kind of near the end of us being there. And, um, yeah, we got to the hostel, got checked in, uh, got, went up to our room, dropped our bags off. There was no one in our room when we first got there. Um, there was obviously people there, but they weren't actually in the room. So we'd have to wait to meet them. Uh, dropped the bags off and went and got our bearings, basically, for where we were. Uh, headed out for a little walk, walked uh, the 15 minutes into the city centre, saw the shops, uh, saw how close we were to the wharf, which is obviously very famous in San Francisco, so that was cool. Uh, we weren't far away from Chinatown either. Um, so yeah, we were in a really good position as things go. Uh, basically, like I say, got our bearings, had some Subway for dinner because we'd eaten really healthy that day. We thought, why not continue that trend and have Subway? Subway's pretty healthy when you think about it because there's lettuce and there's cucumber and there's, you know, salad -y bits in there. So I always feel like I'm slightly healthier having that than the Burger King or at McDonald's. So that's the excuse I'm using, obviously. And so, yeah, we um, walked around for a couple, two and a half hours sort of time, headed back to the hostel, signed ourselves up for a walk the next day, which would take us around San Francisco. It's being done by the people in the hostel. And uh, yeah, it was probably going to be a good way of, you know, just getting a lot more of an idea of where we were and seeing a lot of places that we might not necessarily see if we were just walking around by ourselves. Uh, so that was really cool. And uh, yeah, we headed to bed after that, basically. When we got back to the room, we actually met the people that were in the room with us. There was an American guy who was very strange and didn't really talk and just didn't seem to want to interact with anyone. And then underneath my bunk bed, there was a Swedish guy who, he was quite, he was cool, you know, he chatted to us a fair bit, and he, he became quite a like, friend while we were there, so that was really cool. I don't actually think we ever asked what his name was, but he was a good bloke, so, <laughs> you know, it's all good. And, uh, yeah, that was basically the 
that day, uh, headed to bed. Like I say, we had a fairly busy day the next day, what with the walk, and we wanted to, you know, explore a lot more. Uh, so yeah, we got up about eight the next day, got dressed, headed down to the basement in the hostel, which is where the kitchen, bar, pool room, washing machines, all that. There's a movie theater as well. That was all in the basement. So headed down there. They did a free breakfast in the morning. Had some of that. I think we just had some toast and some fruit. Some people, it's quite weird, obviously it being a free breakfast, a lot of people take advantage of that and don't seem to, you know, want to have another meal the entire day. So they'll stock up on everything that they've got and they'll have like eight pieces of toast and ten bits of fruit and like four coffees and it's like, seriously, you can't be that hard up that you're robbing off of the hostel basically. But you know, each to their own I suppose, so. And yeah, had breakfast and then basically waited in the lobby of the hostel for the little walking tour we were going to do, which would last two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, we uh, waited there. There was about 20 people, I think, that from the hostel that went on the walk. So it was quite good. We got to chat to little groups of people. Uh, the tour guides were good. They obviously worked at the hostel. Uh, the tour itself, over the two and a half hours, we saw Chinatown, the Italian district. We saw Washington Square Park. We saw Coit Tower. And then we went down about 28 flights of stairs and ended up at Pier 33, which is famous because it is the Alcatraz boarding pier and it's where you go to get on the boat to go to Alcatraz, um, which we would be doing in two days time in theory. So that was pretty cool. Like I said, a walk lasted two and a half hours. It's really interesting. Got some amazing photos because you go up really high and you can see all around the city. Um, obviously they'll be at the end of the video so you can look at them and um, yeah basically did the walk uh, left the group at about probably about half past 12 sort of time and while we were up here for 83 we managed to collect our tickets for two days time for the Alcatraz boat trip that we we basically with Alcatraz if anyone doesn't know you have to book about two and a half three weeks uh, prior to when you want to go because it's so popular um, so we'd actually booked it two and a half weeks ago and uh, it, it was it was cool because obviously it meant that we got the day that we wanted and we got the time of boat that we wanted so that, that was good and uh, yeah picked up the tickets I had a bit of lunch in the Alcatraz Pier Cafe because we hadn't actually eaten anything since 8 o'clock so we'd done all that walking and needed to recharge a little bit so we did that and then headed down the dockside a little bit to Pier 39 Pier 39 is amazing because Pier 39 is where all the seals live and they are cute little buggers. I'll put some photos up now because I don't think you can wait for the cute little buggers to be on screen because they are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, they were uh, they were pretty cool. Uh, they'd set, they The amount of them that sit there each day, like we went there a couple of times while we were there and it's just unbelievable how like, calm and like, relaxed these seals are. I mean obviously they're used to people now because they've always been there but it's just so funny. They're all laying there, sleeping on top of each other. Like a little seal orgy. And uh, yeah, did that. Headed down a little bit further. There was a Navy ship docked and a submarine docked. It was the USS Pamanito, I believe. And I uh, went and had a look at that. Took some photos of that. Didn't pay to go on it because it was extortionate. And we were travelling, so we didn't have that much money. Uh, so yeah, had a little look at that. I headed back past the pier to see the seals again because they're cute little buggers and jumped back on to a cable car which stops all along the uh, wharf at all the piers and you get on it and it takes you back into the centre jumped on that um, basically headed back to the hostel stopped off at 7-Eleven before we went straight back for some foodie bits and uh, yeah basically chilled out in the basement of the hostel that night um, like I said we'd had a long day and chilled out yeah, didn't really do too much else. Next day we'd be walking around down by the wharf and the docks a little bit more. We'd be doing different bits there. And then the day after that we would be walking walking to the Golden Gate Bridge, which was seven miles there and like seven back or something. So we'd have a long day there. And uh, the day after that we'd then be doing Alcatraz. And then the day after that we'd be leaving San Francisco. So in San Francisco, I think I'm going to break it up into three videos which will be this one, uh, the next one, which will be, like I say, walking around the wharf and Golden Gate Bridge, 
and then the third one will be doing Alcatraz and leaving San Francisco. Uh, just to break it up a little bit, because it's going to be a really long next video, if not, or it would have been a really long video with this one, so I didn't want to bore you too much. Because uh, I know 10 minutes is a good kind of basis for a video, so... So yeah, this is where I'm going to leave this one. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed hearing about San Francisco, and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy hearing about it more in future videos. Uh, drop a like and a subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen, and if you haven't, tell me, because, you know, feedback's good. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you next video. See ya.